the thing with Composable is it's, it's all about business, um, but it's also all about technology at the same time. So Composable tends to become very tech heavy very quickly. So IT architects and, uh, and business owners and all that. But the challenge there is that in the tech we forget why we're doing it. So the reasons for the solutions uh, existence. And I think that's where we need to start, that, that you need to ask yourself the question, what is actually the point of this thing? Um, so Composable is, is interesting to me because it's new, but it's not new. Uh, and it, it gets a lot of attention from, uh, from the IT sector, uh, simply because it's, uh, it's a name of, of something that we've been doing for a very long time. But in that focus on trying to bind systems together and make them do new things and create solutions that last longer, have a longer total uh, um, return on investment, we tend to forget a little bit about the, the people actually working with those systems because we end up breaking apart the business solutions, which makes sense because the individual component parts can be you know, replaced and uh, improved and all that. But it also means that as a user of Composable, a person that's actually just trying to get their day job done, you have to now relate to multiple different systems that each solve a piece of the puzzle. So imagine you're, you're every day you need to log into you know, system A, B and C to get something done. If you're a marketing person, for example, you need to work with you know, multiple systems to, get, to launch a campaign online. So imagine a composed version of that. You know, yes, you have the best systems of everything, but you need to, to tie together to actually solve the problem. And many of them do tie together, but your experience of working with them will be one where you log in here, you do a little bit of the job you need to do, then you log out, then you log in here, do a little bit of the second thing, then you log into the third thing to get your work done. And I think that's the shadow side of, of Composable, that it makes a lot of sense from, from an IT perspective and from an architectural perspective and from even from a strategic business perspective. But when you go all the way down into you know, the nitty gritty of day-to-day -day operations, there's still a question, a fundamental question there that has not been asked. How do we create editor-friendly experiences across composable platforms? And that to me is one of the really exciting things about what's going on. That we, I think we're at a point where we're, we're sort of getting ready to nail composable and what it means and the questions we need to ask. But the next way will be how do we actually make it something that is enjoyable to use for day-to-day uh, uh, people. So imagine uh, if uh, an example of IT systems, right? You, you'll have in a, in a, in a best of breed context in Composable, you'll go out and select the best thing for sending out a newsletter, the best thing for doing personalization, the best thing for doing e-commerce content and so on. So you'll have end up with maybe five or 10 systems that comprise your overall so Composable solution. They all tie together in, in the website. So they all sort of leverage a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and, and that makes up the overall customer experience. But for you to create that customer experience, you have to Im imagine sending out a newsletter, for example. You may create some content in the CMS to make it available for the newsletter. So you log into the CMS, you do your thing, make it all nice and pretty. Then you log out of that, log into your, uh, your email system, take a look at that and figure out, okay, so we need this content from over here, pull it into an email, select the list that you wanna, uh, that you wanna go. Maybe you want to personalize it, so you log out of the email system and into the actual personalization engine and set up some segments and some criteria to sort of make each email unique. You tie, you log back into the uh, email system and tie that in, and now you have your email, right? So in the process of doing that, you've essentially logged in and out of, of three separate systems to accomplish what you need to do. And that's the, that's the reality we're looking at right now because these systems don't necessarily know about each other. They need to be interconnected and talk to each other. And frankly, we lack standards to, to make this go. It's always, a, at the moment at least, something that needs to be built uh, for, the, for the situation rather than something that just works. Sometimes it does, but more often than not it doesn't. So it's definitely something to watch out for as you build out these composable solutions. We've sold, we're, we're sort of on the cusp of solving the first big problem, which is to extend the lifetime of the solutions we're building. The next way will be how do we make this accessible to sort of quote unquote normal people that are using these systems. And I think the, the business needs to come together and create standards that will enable these composable platforms to essentially talk to each other instead of agencies and, and development companies 
building out these integrations, uh, you know, one-off for each customer. I think uh, there's a great responsibility on us as technology platforms and vendors to agree on standards that will enable us to talk to each other. So part of the work that we've done in e-commerce since, you know, for, for 13 years has been to enable our e-commerce platform to talk with a content management system to create a seamless whole. And what's interesting is I, I had this thought that maybe this was an obsolete way of thinking of things in, in composable. But as I was thinking more about it, I actually think it's the way, it's the path forward for everybody that we have sort of evolved a way where we can connect with multiple content management systems out of the box. Um, so you essentially get the same overall experience across content and commerce. You log into one and you have access to, to, to that, but it doesn't really matter for us which content management system we work with because the experience is essentially the same because due to the way that we connected with it. Now the challenge with it is that our way of doing that is proprietary. It's something we built for ourselves so only we can do it and I think maybe there's a, there's a larger mission here at play where we need to uh, give up that control of that and, and start creating industry standards to enable these things to talk to each other. So I'm, I'm th I think that's where we need to go as an industry.